Well, after continued calls from several lawmakers here in New York State, the COVID-19 state of emergency will end tomorrow. As WNY News Now's Mario Cosentino reports, after lifting many COVID-related mandates last week, the governor announced the news yesterday. Once the state of emergency ends, public meetings will no longer be required to occur virtually. Bars and restaurants are also no longer allowed to sell wine, cocktails, and liquor to go. Cuomo says healthcare workers and those using public transportation are still required to wear masks, however. The emergency is over. It's a new chapter. Doesn't mean there's not challenges for the new chapter, but the emergency is over. While daily monitoring of COVID cases will also end, the governor is still keeping an eye on virus variants and pushing for New Yorkers to get vaccinated. Specifically, Cuomo continues to push for vaccinations among young people through a college scholarship incentive, which ends next week. He also reminded New Yorkers of his plan to help the state recover from the pandemic by bringing business and tourism back. New Yorkers, get a vaccine and get on with life. Get out of the house. Go experience New York. Go to a movie. Go to Radio City Music Hall. Uh, see a concert. While he takes credit for lifting the emergency powers and for leading the push to normalcy, State Senator George Borrello says that it was the governor's reluctance to give up his power that limited New York's ability to move past the pandemic, saying in a statement, quote, our efforts as we move forward to rebuild and recover are hampered because of those executive actions. Borrello and other Republicans introduced legislation that would add a system of checks and balances to the governor's powers without avail. Mario Cosentino, WNY News Now.